Okay, so let's talk about fillers. So a patient has had a filler, let's say 18 months ago, and and maybe they're maybe they can't quite notice that it's wearing out, but they know that timeline it maybe should be. Should they come in earlier than a month or two for their fillers, or when's a good time for them to come in for that? I usually tell people if they want to look good all the time, plan on touching up your filler, adding a little bit to it, when you just start noticing it wearing off a little. Because it takes a week or two sometimes to get an appointment or longer, and this way when you notice it, you'll get your appointment, you won't wait for it to wear off so much that you start looking not so great. Mm -hmm. You want it to look really good all the time. Plus, it stimulates collagen production. So if you're doing it once or twice a year, you're getting that collagen production going. So can fillers sometimes bruise more than Botox? There's a chance for them to bruise more than Botox because the needle's slightly larger. It's still a tiny needle, but the Botox needle we use is almost microscopic. It's so small. So um, the chances of bruising with Botox in our office is 1% or 2% at the most, while fillers, it could be 20%. So they need to take that in consideration before their holiday event to make sure they get yes. in and get that done early. Even though we do have some special tricks that we have in my office, like Ocument, which helps with bruising, um, it's a special um, product that we apply afterwards. Also, Tioxin Repair Bomb helps with bruising. But still, if you don't want to bruise at all, you want to make sure that you leave a little time. Right.